Good afternoon, everybody on Educated Economist here. So I would like to thank Juan. Juan uh, left a link in the comment section of yesterday's video to the information that I was hoping to find. And what I was asking for was how much mortgage-backed securities have been issued over the last, you know, month, weeks, you know, up-to-date information on mortgage-backed security issuance. That's what I was looking for. And he gave me a link to it, and it was good information. Now, I'm going to share that link down in the description for you guys. If you open that link, there is another um, link inside that uh, page to another file. If you open up that file, and I'll leave a link to that one as well. So there will be the link to the website, and then there will be another link to that file. And now, if you look at that file, that is pretty interesting. If you look at the issuance throughout the throughout time just kind of dating back and to look at see where the um, the agency mortgage-backed securities and then the non-agency mortgage-backed securities and where the issuance has gone. It's been incredibly interesting to watch the change in what's taken place between these two. Because the agency mortgage-backed security, these are like the, you know, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the, you know, government-sponsored stuff. And when you think about this, if a mortgage writer, somebody who's trying to sell you a mortgage, when they are trying to get you to qualify for that mortgage, they're trying to get you to qualify for a mortgage that they can sell to one of those guys. So just because like, you know, you might qualify or whatever, doesn't necessarily mean that you will get one of those particular loans. It's just that most people who are issuing out loans or trying to sell loans are trying to get you to sign the bottom line so they can sell those things off. And they want to sell them off to one of those entities, essentially. So when I was looking at that information, I was thinking, okay, so with the supply of homes dropping and the interest rates rising, I was thinking to myself, okay, well, this must mean that there should be a drop in mortgage-backed security issuance. Like if there's less mortgages being written, then there's less mortgages out there to be securitized. But if you go and look at what's taking place right now, you can see that there's really not a slowdown in the agency mortgage-backed securities being written, but there is almost a stop to the non-agency residential mortgage-backed securities, I should say. Now, go look at that file. It's got, there's a lot of numbers on there, so you're going to have to go find it, but it's the non-agency um, residential mortgage-backed securities, RMBS, and if you go and look at the issuance of that and you drop all the way down to the last three months and you will see two out of the last three months are the lowest ones on recorded on that chart, which I think goes back to like 96. So the non-agency mortgage-backed securities for residentials are almost done. They're like in the toilet, essentially, as far as issuance goes. But something I found interesting when I looked at that chart was over the course of 2020, more mortgage-backed securities in total were written over the course of that year than in any other year. And if you go and look at that chart, it goes all the way back to 96. I think it was 2003, something like that, where more mortgage-backed securities were written residential, or I guess all together, uh, mortgage-backed securities written in 2003 than all the rest of the previous years. It was like, I don't know. I forget what it is. I think it was priced in billions or something like, or, you know, the charts in billions. And I can't forget, I can't remember exactly what the numbers were, but just go and look at the dates there and you can see it. And so that leads me to believe that there was a ton of refinancing taking place. Plus there was a lot of home sales taking place as people were, you know, leaving the cities all, you know, due to the COVID mess. So this is interesting to see. Like, it makes me wonder what's going to happen over the course of the next few months as we start coming into like, you know, the building season, as we're coming into like the home buying season. People like the tendency to move during the, you know, summertime as opposed to during the wintertime. Kids are out of school, stuff like that. So a lot of people, when they want to make the move, they do it during the, you know, better time of the year, the summertime. So it really like, it makes me wonder what is it that is going to take place here coming into the future with we with the higher interest rates coming and you know the Federal Reserve and their mortgage backed security purchases. But we have the information now to look at. But that's what I noticed were those two things. More mortgage backed securities were issued last year than in any other year 
and less non non agency mortgage backed securities are being issued now than just about any other time in history. So very interesting stuff. I really don't know much more to take on that. I was really just wanting to share that information with you guys so you can share, you know, with me what you guys think. So uneducated economist, you guys let me know.